Marietta, Ohio was settled at the confluence of the Ohio and Muskingum Rivers in 1788. The Muskingum Academy was founded less than a decade later in 1797 and provided the first place for higher education in the territory. The academy was then rechartered in 1835 as Marietta College. Founded as a river town by those traveling from the East Coast, it only makes sense that rowing would be the first sport at Marietta College. With the first crews going on the water in 1871, that tradition continues on proudly to this day. From 1876 to 1879, the college rode off a barge docked on the Ohio River. Then, in 1880, the college moved to its new home on the Muskingum River. That was a much more modern building, but was washed away by a record flood in 1913. With the help of the Kiwanis Club and donations of materials and labor from the local community members, by 1929, there was once again a boathouse in Marietta. In the 1970s, as rowing was gaining popularity in the Midwest, the boathouse underwent its first renovation with the addition of a second floor and a third bay for additional boat storage. As this renovation was happening, Title IX was passed, and in just two years, with the blessing of head coach Ralph Lindemood, the women's program at Marietta College was started in the fall of 1974. Starting in 2008, discussions began about a second renovation to the boathouse. After sorting through all of the various issues involved in renovating an 80-year-old structure, finally in the summer of 2015, we were able to complete phase one of the project. Phase one involved providing more support for the foundation of the 1970s addition as well as modifications to the three boat bay entrances, which were previously very low and limited the functionality of the boathouse. This has made moving in and out of the building much easier while returning the boathouse to a more original look. The electric on the first floor was reworked to allow for better lighting. Both teams can now comfortably meet before practice in their own boat bays. The old second floor before this renovation was a dark area with very few windows. Originally, it was a bunkhouse and visiting teams could stay at the boathouse when they came to Marietta to race. There was one large locker room upstairs with a large shower room as well. In 2012, the removal of some unused items, including the bunk beds and the section of the locker room, created a little more space on the second floor. Some paint was helpful with the light, but it was still very dark on most days and the ventilation was not good. Having 20 to 30 people working out in that space was not a great option. Phase two was started in the summer of 2016 and was focused on improving the second floor. Starting right at the end of our season, the roof and walls were completely removed. We started from scratch to rebuild a new second floor and use the space much more effectively. We now have a large open training space, two locker rooms, an office or study room for the student athletes, and of course, a place to show the rich history of the program, the Dad Vale Room. To say that this renovation is a huge improvement is an understatement. The new facility with natural light and the ability to be easily ventilated by opening the many windows and doors really make this a great spot for training. The new space is now allowing both the men and the women to practice between 4 and 7 p.m. when our student athletes are out of class by utilizing both the erg room on campus as well as the newly renovated boathouse. To me, what's the most significant part of Marietta College rowing, what makes us special, is the Dad Vale Room. No other college has 46 championship banners sitting in its rafters. That is what is significant to our program. That is what, when recruits come here to see the boathouse, when they see this room, what makes us unique is this, is this place. So the Dad Vale Room before the boathouse renovation was 
frankly, too small to really commemorate the significance of the achievements of the men and women who won Davel Championships. The banners were of laminated paper and all the trophies were frankly crammed into a small trophy case that did not do them justice. What we did when we had the boathouse renovated is that we ha actually had championship banners made with all of their names on there as well as the years and it just brings a little bit more formality to the room and we still consider this room to be sacred. It's, it's very rarely used maybe for, for events or team meetings, stuff like that, but for Marietta Rowing, this, this room is, it stays clean, it stays neat out of respect for the, for the champions who earned to get their names up there. So there is a lot of history in the Dad Vale Room. For example, in 1877, Marietta raced Duquesne, and that trophy, as well as a picture of the crew that won that trophy, is in the Dad Vale Room. The Dad Vale Room also includes three retired Dad Vale Cups, including the Lev Brett Cup for the freshman eight, the Lindy Cup for the freshman four, as well as the Callow Cup for the JV8. It also includes several retired cups from the Cypress Gardens Regatta, which was a race that the men attended in the 60s. Two retired MC Purdue Challenge Cups. The MC Purdue Challenge Cup started in 1958 and continues today. Marietta also was a founding member of the Macro Regatta, so there are several retired trophies and cups from that race. Marietta was also very lucky to host two large regattas. In 1935 and 1941, we hosted the Dad Vale, and then in 1950 and 1951, we hosted the IRA. This renovation would not have been possible without the support of the alumni. Every donor to the renovation project has been recognized for their contributions. In addition, the major donors have a plaque outside of the room or boat bay that's named for them. Andrea Haynes Perry, class of 82, was a key donor for the project. As a women's coach, I'm very proud to have the women rowing out of a boat bay named after her, as well as a brand new women's locker room. The Strong Bay, which the men now row out of, was named after Walter Strong, class of 55. He just passed away recently and left a large portion of his estate to Marietta College, specifically the rowing program. The men's locker room is named for Elliot Thrasher, class of 62. Elliot has been a constant supporter of the renovation project since the very beginning. Our second floor training space, as well as our small boats bay, are named for John Stropback and James Metcalf, both in the class of 79. The training room is named for their 1976 freshman crew, while a small boats bay is named for their entire senior class, the class of 1979 bay. It seems only fitting that Brent Haney, class of 76, chose to name the Dadvale room in honor of coach Ralph Lindemood, who was the most influential coach in the history of Marietta rowing. Brent was also the alum who sparked the boathouse renovation discussion in 2008 during a visit back to campus. Because of the generous support of our alumni, Marietta College now has a boathouse that ranks amongst the best in the nation. Not only is the college invested in your academic success, but the alumni continue to invest in the program. Hmm.